Greetings everyone and welcome back to Thea the Awakening, where in the last episode we uncovered a bit of a problem. We just ran away from a two skull skeleton battle and straight into a two skull goblin battle. Of the two, the skeletal battle the skeleton battle significantly less likely to result in our immediate death. However, there's no point in running away from this, it's too close to Dapadel. They're, they're a major threat that needs to be removed. So let's get on with this. Alright, you approach the enemy. You have time to decide the plan of action. Planning is for weaklings! Attack! We can do this the easy way, or, well, you know, how the rest goes. And we can go for a manipulate battle, or why risk a frontal assault when we the shadows await? Assassinate. Hmm, interesting. Let's see how this group is built for social and built for stealth. So, a sneak challenge. We've got two stealth. Now, stealth generally is going to be the primary use here. No, they're not well set up for stealth battles. What about social? Uh, you got four speech, two, two, six, six, five. Hmm. Goblins might be a bit... A bit tricky. It's a two-star battle. I'm not sure which one would be the the more likely to result in death, but uh, we could try the social one. And I think that would probably. Uh, if only I'd realised this, I would have brought uh, Obsidian Mist. We've got some decent damage capabilities here, but I don't think it's high enough. No, not compared to our just frontal attack. So let's just jump in there. And hope to goodness we get first go. Yes! Success! Only one card can go down though. Uh, but okay. Now I don't know how strong they are, so I don't want to use a counter offense card yet. Uh, you've got 12 shielding. As much as this might seem like an odd one, I'm going to place Casey first. It might be bad for Ox. Ouch! But not a very high card, so let's get rid of you. That has taken a lot of the da danger out of this fight. Oh my lord. Um, if I give you the shield, then they're not going to be able to get to your health. Nice. Very, very nice. And you are easily going to be able to kill them. Actually, I don't even need to do that. Oxherd, you go down first. It's only a level four. I can use Confuse on it. Ouch. That's kind of annoying. I forgot about that ability. Uh, all right, well, let's Confuse you. Unfortunately, I can't get you into play, but uh, okay. Uh, sure, you can get in there, and we'll get Kenneth down as well. We're going to win this. Oxherd will take a couple of wounds, but it's not going to be a biggie. I was really worried about that. As you can see, they're kind of glass cannons. They don't do. They haven't got much health, but they can do a lot of damage. And Oxford, despite our overwhelming force, still got hurt in that. Uh, three shielding, one dexterity, faint folklore, and armor. Nice. I like it. Made of dark wood and iron. I really need to get some dark wood so I can start making things like that. Uh, who would like this one? Who's already got some folklore? You do not. 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 Hmm. Russell, I'm going to give you a little bit more armor and some folklore. Seems to make sense for you to have that. Anyone else need a shield? Not really. We've got better shields. But that's fine. Uh, we'll also take out this group. Yeah, let's just get in there. Get to hunting. Just two hunting uh, challenge. Not going to be an issue for us. At this point, these hunts are actually fairly easy, especially when we get Russell and Izzy on, on the, the combat deck, and first turn, of all things. Uh, yeah, we've, we've already won. Uh, I'll just make Fitz significantly more capable of messing you up. Get Fitz right to the beginning. And just to show you how this works, if I don't play that card, I don't have to, but if nothing is played in that turn, then when I say no, uh, to playing the card, the combat immediately begins. If, however, the enemy has cards to place, they'll get a turn to place, and then it'll come back to me. And I can choose to go with it or, or not once again. Uh, I don't think we really want that one, but uh, I'll take it. Let's see what we've got. Does anyone want this over the armor they're currently, they're currently wearing? Uh, 
I mean, it would take away your two stealth, but it would give you one extra armor. I'm not sure it's a good deal, though. No, I really don't think it is. It's a very heavy piece of armor, though. Um, two points of armor? Yeah, you've only got one dex set. It's not actually that useful for you. There's no way you can wield that. You, however, can. Yes. And then Russell, you can grab that. Oh, that's fantastic. I like it. We've uh, moved things around quite well. Let's get in close to this wolf lair and take it out while we're out and about. There we go. Let's get up there. Why risk? Get in there and hunt. Begin the combat. Uh, okay. We haven't got uh, Russell on this side, but that's fine. Ah, good. I'm quite glad that you didn't get a chance to attack, honestly. Um, that's fine. We'll get Casey in there as well. Casey can have first action. Just because I can do it. Everyone else just get in there and fight. We're not going to need it, but... You'll do a tiny amount of damage. It won't really matter. Oh, actually, you did get a, get a hit in. There we go. And... Boop. Nice and easy. Ooh. We got meat and herbs. And meat roast. Hmm. Nice. That's fine. You can you can definitely make use of that if you would like to. I want to make sure that you're not going to be burning up anything particularly good. No, that's fine. Right. Okay. So, where are we going to park ourselves for the evening? There's a, there's a camp down here that I believe may in fact be... Oh. A goblin village. Why? Well, that would explain the goblins then. That is really bad. That close is fantastically unfortunate for us. Hmm. We might need to deal with that. And by might, we will need to deal with that. Three more turns there. Two more turns on the Heavy Fur Brigandine. And we'll see where things go. We'll pass this... Oh, oh dear. What be you? Uh, Krakanzra. Well, we need to get the drop on them, not the other way around, so... Let's get in there. Take a good look, creature. The, uh, of the other worlds? Are you sure you want to face us? Honestly, I'm going to try a social fight with them. Because I'm not sure if they can really talk. They might be able to, but let's see. You stand firm, posturing and flexing your muscles as much as possible. You take out some twigs tied together like dolls and throw some rock salt, chanting a fake ritual. Be gone, fiends! We have the power of our elders on our side and we shall banish you to eternal torment. Let's see if they take this. Uh, begin combat. Can they talk? Let us hope not. Let us hope not. Uh, I can actually support ourselves using... Um, yeah, we got everyone can support to some degree, so we can make everyone a little bit stronger. This was a bad mistake. Super bad mistake. Alright. Um, this is going to suck. Uh... This is going to super suck, actually. Fitz. Let's get you in there. And Casey, get you in there as well. All right. Well, we have lost this. There's no way around that fact. Right. Uh, only plus here is... I am going to support Casey. If this one attacks Oxherd, Oxherd will survive. If it attacks Fitz, Fitz will die. There's no way around that. Uh, Fitz is basically going to be a beautiful, beautiful uh, cannon fodder. Uh, go ahead and... Well, I could get you in there, but it's not really going to do much damage. Good. You got a little bit of shielding, but if they both decide to attack you, they'll just kill you. If they both decide to attack Casey, they'll kill Casey, but Casey will get a turn first, so Casey will do a little bit of damage. But this was a bad move. I feel that that was a fairly strong argument myself. It's a shame that it didn't really work. And Casey's gone. And now so is Fitz. Damn, they, 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 they've got some pretty good debating chops on them, honestly. And goodbye to everyone who was over there.
Yeah, you have lost. Oh no, Izzy, it's close to death. As you bellow out the final words of your fake r ritual, your opponents laugh at you, and one of them lunges at your people before you know it, they all attack. Defend yourselves. We should have just gone in for the tribe. Okay. Good to know. Now, unfortunately, Izzy is out for the count. We're not going to see Izzy in this. Um, Kenneth is fairly strong in this one, though, but so are they. So are they. All right. Let's get you in there. Do a bit of, bit of damage right off the bat. And... They'll take you out if they attack. They'll also take you out when they attack. So, realistically speaking, I have to shield you if I don't want you down in the first turn. You're just as dangerous. You will take two people out when you hit. You're a little bit of a pain, but it's not unmanageable. Uh, right, Russell, let's get you in as well. Okay. If only we had Izzy here. If only. Now, this is going to suck enormously. If you both decide to attack the same person, they're going to go down. Oh, thank goodness. Because that means I'm taking two of you out straight away. And Oxford is down. That, that sucks enormously. But we're able to win. We have lost a lot there. And because it's our turn first, all of our shielding is back. No matter how this goes down, we win. Right then you. And you do 19 damage, but if we get in there, we'll strip you down. Yeah, we're, we're going to take you out at this point. Um, sure, let's let you get in there. We're going to have a lot of people very close to death. And that is awful, but... It's... No, there's nothing much we can do. Three people are close to death now, but look at the things we got from that. Uh, okay, shadow armor. 15 armor, 3 shielding. Would have been useful earlier. 17 armor, 3 shielding. 9 damage, 6 shielding, 3 poison. And a new bow. 3 range damage. <sighs> I can afford to do nothing... But move down here and camp. It'll take me one turn. We'll immediately camp. And we'll have to hope. We're, we're at very, very likely territory that we're going to lose some really, really awesome people. And that is so incredibly sad. Um, yeah, you can hang out, out over there. Uh, Russell... Get me some wood each turn, please. We don't need a lot of that. Uh, that'll now be every two turns. We'll get that. And sure, we'll we'll drop you guys over there. Every uh, seven turns. It's not too bad. Okay. Three people so close to death. Fitz is, is closer to not being at death's door, but Oxford and Izzy, our two strongest units, are literally on death's door. That is so incredibly, incredibly bad. Uh, yeah, all these two. Definitely this. And is this better? No. But more or less anyone can wield this one. Uh, sure. Uh, well, actually, no, sorry. There you go. There's no way in the world you're wielding that. But... Let's see. 764... Nine, six, three. I'll drop one poison damage for guaranteed damage, sure. Uh, at this stage, I'd drop a lot of damage, but you'd get a lot of shielding, too. Hmm. Yeah, I like that one a lot better. Do I want to go for this? Yeah, I do, actually. That would have saved you. Okay, well, this turn is going to be be a bit of a, a nail-biter one. They fought some pretty epic fights, but uh, there's a good chance. Wounds don't uh, always Izzy, have no. a chance to heal, and so death can claim its prize. Rip Izzy. Farewell. 
our most awesome of awesome hunters. The first to die. Dapper Rip. And we got one XP, and so more souls join the beyond. Alright, and we're not even out, out of the woods yet. Let's have a have a quick look. Who else? Okay, Fitz is out of the the, the real danger there. Oxherd? No. Please don't die as well. That would be truly, truly epically bad. Uh, let's get you set up. Uh, no, you've already got better better armor. Is this a better weapon? Uh, it's the same, really. Uh, okay. Well, Russell, can you equip this? You can. I like it. Please try harder. Try as hard as you can. Keep them alive, Russell. There we go. And sure, I think that's fairly decent. I mean, this, yeah, actually, that one's not a bad one to wield, uh, to wear at all. Okay, not not terrible. Certainly, this is actually better for very little increase in weight. Certainly. Um, over here, you've got no weight to spare. Realistically speaking, you've just got no more weight to spare. So that's not happening there. Wretched, but these things will happen. Izzy, as they were bleeding out, their final thoughts were still for the settlement. On death's door, Izzy went for the long walk into the dark. Didn't want to burden the group anymore. We're on their way, found a, a bush of, of just the choicest fruit. Knowing that the others would find it difficult, might not know which, which of the best fruits to collect. And some, there were some poison fruits in the monks there. They spent their last moments gathering them up, put them in the basket, laid it at the, at the foot of the tent, and then just wandered out. To no doubt be slain by the beasts that they respected so much. And that way they would return back to the cycle of life and death, indeed. Well done, Izzy. You were too good for this world. Uh, right. Okay, how's construction going? One more turn there. Very nice to see. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, well. <sighs> oh, well. Um, uh, get more shields. Can't get any more dew drops. No, we'll hold off on that. Any more light armors we can make? I mean, we can make a couple. Need six wood for it. Uh, eight malachite, perhaps. Uh, actually, no. No, we don't. We don't have enough to do anything there, really. I could make a new crafting hammer. And it's not a bad idea. Still, wouldn't be amazing, but... Okay. Go ahead and uh, set that up. I want that to be made. Pomp. There you go. Three turns on that. And time for us, to, oh, actually to equip someone, think about it. Alright, who would like this armor? It's decent armor, it's also got fine weakness, but uh, you've got decent ones there already. You've definitely got decent armor. Uh, this is 72. Who amongst you can afford to wear it? Actually, it's good. Very good, because your current armor already weighed so much. Uh, you cannot afford to wear that. You can, so sure. And also you can have a shield. Uh, no, you can't have a shield. I lied. I'm sorry. I, I, I told lies. My bad. Fingers crossed! <sighs> okay. The loss of Izzy is a blow that we will feel for quite some time. Izzy was fantastic in that Izzy had animal kinship, high animal kinship, that opened up lots of options for us and was also a pretty good hunter. That said, this isn't the worst. This isn't the worst thing that it could have been. All right, let's get you over there. That'll be done in one turn. And then you'll move on to the next job. We've now got a herbalist hut. Okay, not bad. Let's see uh, what we got over here. Got some fur leather. Oh, no, actually, it is generating herbs, but only one herb per turn. Oh, that's fine. That is fine. If we had more herbs coming in, we could afford to use it for making um, food. Right, there we go. Crafting hammer. Let's get one of our crafters with the hammer. Uh, you've got a little bit of room. Not enough, though. You've definitely not got enough. That is quite the shame. Um, well, Obsidia, I could drop your damage a chunk to let you equip this. And that is actually a better option for me. How much is that? That's way too heavy. We're not using that, then. Still, that's not bad. We've got two people now at nine over here. Should I make some... Roasted meats. I think I will. Only a couple, though. 
Let's make as many as we can. Oops, wrong thing. As many as we can, then we're going to reduce it down to half of that. So Ten meat stews. And then we'll allow our, um, our stocks to recover a bit. Uh, alas. Uh, okay. Well, let's continue on. Actually, you know what? We can afford... Well, no, no, we're going to be going down on, on meat for a little bit. But I was about to say, we can afford to allow them to eat meat normally now. Uh, there we are. That's fine. We're getting some more fur leather. Uh, how many turns? You've got 13 turns worth of food. Russell, you got 30 turns worth of fuel. Don't need it. Start getting me plenty of fruit, uh, fruit please. Now it's the lot. It's it's the middle of the night. We don't want to be out of here. We want to be safely tucked in our bed. I'm just waiting. There we go. Starting to get a little bit more sight. We're gonna wait. Oh no. Okay. Well, please let us go first. No! Scallybags. Uh, that's not so bad, actually. That isn't so bad. Huh. Now, Izzy would have been able to drive anyone forward in this queue, which would have been good. But we can play two cards here. Um... Get you down. Get you shielded. Yes. There we are. That weapon is not going to be able to do enough damage to you. You're confused. That's actually really, really good for me. Alright, you get in there. You're going to do a chunk of damage. Oxford is going to do so much damage to him and then him. That Kenneth is going to be able to finish this one off. So I'm not going to have to worry about uh, placing down any shielding. So I'll just get Casey in first. Now, assuming or hoping that that's not a piercing attack. It is not. Kenneth is not going to take any damage from this. Nice. Very, very nice. I'm going to buff your shield. No need. But we, we've got this. That one is going to try and beat through. Oh dear. I hadn't anticipated that one. Never mind. We still win. That was silly of me. I should have considered the potential that Oxid would have gone the wrong way. That was very silly of me. Still, it worked out well in the end. We got some uh, decent monster bone as well. Doctor's Medicus. You know, sometimes the only medicine is a hard hit in the nugget. Uh, okay. Uh, not a particularly good one, that. So I'm actually going to recycle that one straight up. That was a bad quality piece of armor. Also going to recycle that because they're going to be heavy. I don't care for them. So there we are. How are we doing? Up to 32 fur leather. It's good. Herbs are going up. You know, we'll let it, we'll let it re recover. Do we want to pass more turns? I'm going to wait until, until Fear actual is not an <gasps> easy place to grow yes! up in, but alas, grow up we must. One of your children has matured into a young adult and is ready to join your village and rebuild Fear. You know what? If I'd actually built this place first, well, as soon as I had the option, I might have been able to save Izzy by having an actual medic in the group. Uh, the kid dissected a frog when they were only a wee person. It seems we might have a promising medic. An Indeed, we do. Is an important rite of passage. The whole village celebrates this joyous occasion. The youngster places a food offering at the altars of their gods, in thanks and in hopes for a good future. Celebrate the rite of passage. There we go. All right. Well, let's go and have a look at our promising new medic. Evo. Evo. Hello, Sharp. There we go. Unfortunately, stupid keyboard doesn't recognize um, carrot above above light. I, I'm not actually sure. It, is your name Sean spelt spelt the Welsh way? Hmm. That, that would be interesting because if it's so, then it needs to be carrot above the the uh, You can wield this. You're going to be a reasonably dangerous medic. Got some folklore for medic, and the nice thing about this is you will naturally increase these stats. For now, though, I'm going to have you helping out with grain. That's fine. Right. Uh, yeah, well, I'm going to wait until till actual morning. There we go. Right, who is not doing something? Obsidian. Oh, right, of course, yes. 
Uh, we finished all of the the cooked meats, right? Okay, well, that's not so bad. Um, sure. Continue making beagles. At this point, you can make it indefinitely. And so, if you've got nothing better to do, just be making me stupid amounts of this. Now, we will run our meat supplies down into the ground this way. Because they're going to be able to make um, three, almost, very close to almost four rounds of beagles a turn. We're only producing enough meat to make one and a half rounds. So, uh, or, or, or servings of beagles a turn. Still, it's not so bad. Uh, what's our... Uh, um, Hall like over here. It's not bad, actually. Pretty solid, in fact. We got a decent amount of, uh, of fruit. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna pass it one more turn. Uh oh. Uh oh. What level were they? I don't know. I'm scared. Right, let's get out there. Three. Oh, it's only one. Okay. Well, let's get down there. We actually no longer have a hunting option. <sighs> Warped snake. Begin combat. That is a shame. I don't think we've got enough enough gathering potential in the party. Still, you're going to take that snake out in the first round. And no more of these snakes can get to you. Could I shield you? I could, actually. Uh, yeah, may as well. That no, no matter which way they attack, they're not going to be able to take you out. Okay, and one warp snake there, it's fine. They're reasonably low level, so I'm just gonna keep uh, Oxherd in reserve. There we go. And we're gonna confuse that snake. We've already won this battle without wounds at that. There we go. Thanks largely to our shielding. There's literally no way that you could attack that would inflict a wound on us. Though, the fact that we haven't taken you out is a little bit of a pain because uh, it means that we wasted that attack, but still, you were able to kill that one no matter what. Okay, not too bad. Uh, we're starting to collect these. I can I can carry it, so it's not an issue. Uh, right. Well, that is a actually a, a grave concern. Still, we'll get there. Uh, we've got no more moves to get off this mountain. Okay, well, that's fine. See if I can. There we go. Let's get all the way back to Dapperdell now. You are ambushed Ooh. by a band of goblin bandits. Why? They look starved and desperate, but eager to fight. Uh, two arms! Four goblin warriors. Okay, well, that's worse than, than three. Could have run away. Might have lost some, some gear doing so, though. Okay, you will wipe this one out on the first turn. Which is quite appreciated. Uh, and then you can probably wipe out the next one on the first turn. Mm, yeah, yeah, you will. They had a decent weapon, though. So that's fine. Let's get you in the fight. They're not going to be able to get through this. We'll actually buff your attack significantly. There we go. You're not going to quite take that one out, but it doesn't actually matter. Um... No, if I if I draw you over there, well, actually, yes, we'd still win just because of the poison, but they, they, there's no point in doing that, I don't think. Um, so I'm just actually going to, uh, I guess, get closer. There's no, nothing else, really, that we need to do. We actually won that fight, mostly because we've got a good amount of damage potential amongst our units, but uh, still, that could have you been quite nice. You massacred the goblins Ooh, without wow. breaking a sweat. You are free to loot whatever they carried. I approve. Uh, we've got some mushrooms. We've got a shield. Three armor, four shield. That's actually not bad. Another whopping great axe. Another shield. Okay. And a regular wooden sword. That one's actually kind of heavy. But we got some wicker, which is quite nice. All right. Uh, see, now we're a little bit too heavy. So we're going to lose some points in movement. But it's okay. We'll, we'll get back and we'll we'll um, break this down in Dapperdell. 
I mean, you can fight Dapper Dell if you really want to. Oxford and Fitz just gained more health. Casey became much stronger and also much dangerous and can carry a little bit more. Kath's more intelligent and Russell is a little bit better at backstabbing. And Jason is more intelligent, as is Liam Daly. Uh, oh, Delay. Sorry, I keep saying Daly. I shouldn't. Uh, Obsidia and Sean are a bit better at talking. Rivsung is much healthier. Sara is just naturally more poisonous. Fair enough. Svizzle, better at gathering. And Manu, more willful. Not at all bad. Let's get into Dapper Del, though. We lost someone out there. And uh, the rest of Dapper Del need to be told the solemn news. It's going to upset them. Of course, it, it would upset anyone. But no, that is he died. Died a, a, a warrior's death. Tending to the, to, the, to the colony. The best way to go, really. Put us before for themselves. What a trooper. Right, this is actually going to make us a really, really nice gathering item that is very light. Very light. Spider silk and wicker are a great combination. We're not going to be able to make another one of those, which is a grave shame, but uh, we might be able to make one more of slightly less uh, good make. I'll accept it. Unless I can make something a bit lighter. Uh, no, it's much heavier at that point. But it is a better gathering item. No, I'm going to go for lightness. Because gathering items are usually put on my gatherers. And they typically are a little bit less, uh, less capable in terms of weight. So I prefer that, honestly. Tools? No, we're not going to be doing anything there. Bigost, we've now got a lot of fruit, and they, that was reasonably easy to collect. So, let's instead set this up, shall we? I think we should. I think that is a grand plan. We'll make some Lexo. Good Lexo, made of any veggie you have to hand, but best with peppers. Uh, we'll split you guys down. There we are. That should be quite a lot better. I like it. Let's just make sure that we're not burning the wicker. No, good. Um... Don't burn the, the mushrooms, because I, I can't actually use those yet. Uh, so that, that's fine there. No, this is this is going to be good. We've got a decent amount of food coming in. We'll actually allow them to eat that as well, because that'll give us that extra little bit. Uh, I could just turn that on. We're not going to use that up much. We'll use one per turn. Um, so that gives us... Well, no, there's really no need. Actually, thinking about that, there's absolutely no need to use that. It would give us no particular benefit. Right, what we do want to do, though, is have a look through here. Well, first, let's go through and equip the best that we can. This is only... Oh, well, it's 120. It's not actually much better. Hmm. No, you can't hold any of that. Russell, we've already got a bit of folklore, which is great. Uh, let's see. Do you want some folklore? Sure, well... No, someone, I think, has folklore. You've already got three. So I'm going to give you this again. We're going to dump a little bit more into that folklore because it is better to have a few people with high stats than lots of people with medium stats um, just because of the way that the challenges often try and work out well can you achieve this can are you gonna, is this going to be good for you is it going to be bad for you so on and so forth uh, we've got a regular shield there uh, this is a little bit better so you can have that sure uh, let's see is this better they're exactly the same. This one might be better, though. Uh, this one is the better one for you to take. Gives you a slightly bigger boost in exchange for the uh, one dexterity that you're losing. Now, in terms of these arms, that actually isn't a good one. It's lighter, though. But it's really not that good in the grand scheme of things. There's no way that you can afford to carry most of this. In fact, the vast majority of these items need to be just broken down. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to start breaking down a goodly amount of these. Don't need that. Uh, yes, bulk. Uh, dismantle unequipped items from Expedition Um No, cancel that. I don't want to dismantle everything. I'll keep those. Get rid of this one. Get rid of that. And both of these. We'll get a little bit from it, but, you know, not, it's not going to be amazing. Okay, I'm fairly happy. Well, actually, I get rid of one of these each, I think. It's 
it's going to be a long time before we've got anyone to help out with that. Now, with that done, we may actually find... Yeah, we've got a little bit of dark wood now. Make sure that we're not burning that up. So, in terms of production, then, let's have a look at what we can make. A little bit of dark wood lying around. Pop that over there. Maybe some of this. Maybe a little bit of you. Okay. Uh, Pavis. Seven shielding, four armor, one dexterity. Not bad. Certainly not bad. We've got... Monster bone. Ooh, monster shell. What better to shield you from beasts than with their own bones? That's a little bit macabre, but I, I get where you're going with that. I think I approve. Um, we get a lot of research points for this. It is heavy, but that's a lot of research points. So I think I think so, yes. We're going to make one of those. Get that right up to the top. Pop. You can start working your way through these. Uh, do I have any other shields I really want to make? Don't think so. What I want now is light armors. I could just straight up make these like so. If it was my interest. Eight armor, two dexterity. It's reasonably heavy though. Uh, it might be better to make something a little bit more interesting. Seven and one. I can only make one of those though. Eight and one? No, not really what I'm looking for there. I'd only be able to make one item here, quarter cloth, seven and one. Nah. Nah, I think we're going to hold off on making more armor for now. Let's just get the, the shields and the gathering tools made before we move on to anything else. I think that would be the best option. Let's move you up there, Obsidia. And we'll just move right through them. Okay, other than that, there's everyone gathering who could gather. Not that it makes even the slightest bit of difference. Because we can't gather more, more piles than we already are. Uh, we should really have our gatherers out gathering some things. But uh, we've got a little group right there that is a little bit worrisome. And I could rush down there and try and gather more. Or I could send a small gathering group just up there. Just, just to gather near the herbalist hut. But the presence of that snake's nest and the spider's nest, so close. Concerning. That being said, though. No, we are going to make a, a little little gathering expedition. Alright. I'd send out some people who are decently capable, though. Sure, let's get you out there, Russell. And Kenneth. And one other fighter. Casey and Sean. It's not a great group, to be certain. But it will be enough to do uh, a bit of, of handling there. I mean, I could send out Oxhead as well. Uh, the lack of crafting there, though. Um, actually, no, we'll cancel that because we will soon have the, the gathering items ready. In fact, let me drop this down. Let's just focus on the gathering baskets. Let's get those made so that we can send out a decent gathering group. Yeah, I bet it makes any difference. So, sure. Okay, that's the way we're going to be rolling here. Let's see how this plays out. That's fine. It's okay. There we go. We have made our first gathering equipment that we have made our very own selves. Uh, Sean, you still can't wield this. Um, 120. Yeah, okay. You know what? We will swap that out. Sure. Gives you a chunk more gathering. Well, actually, no, no, no. No, that being said. Kenneth? Can you equip this? Yes, you can. You're already a good gatherer. Let's make you even better at it. You've got a 13 gathering potential now. Kenneth and Russell. Russell's got a 3 gatherer there. Okay, that's not so bad. And let's see what we can research now, then. So we've got a couple of options here. I could look into making my own weapons. I could look at the well. The problem with the well is it is going to require... Yarn. Um, no, I would want spider silk. If we're going to build the well, I want spider silk. 
Something I've wanted for a while. Oh, wow. Okay. So that is one of the spider's nests. I mean, understandable, really, when you think about it, but... Uh, Alright, if we go there, I could get food and spider silk, and if we go up there, I can get wooden spider silk. So we could have a little gathering party out there for a while once we cleaned it up. So that's not so so bad. We've got wick over there. Plenty of. So wick and spider silk would allow us to make quite a, f a number of really nice nice uh, bits there. Uh, let's get you helping out down here, please, and thank you. Okay. And... Yeah, uh, let's pass another turn. We're generating a nice bit of, of items there. Thea is not Ooh. an easy place to grow up in, but Fantastic. alas, grow up we must. One of your children has matured into a young adult and is ready to join your village and rebuild Thea. Very well. We want another medic so that we can have one in each group. This kid dissected a frog when they were only a wee person, it seems. We might have a promising Becoming medic. Becoming an adult is an important rite of passage. The whole village celebrates this joyous occasion. The youngster places a food offering at the altars of their gods, in thanks and in hopes for a good future. Hooray! Celebrate the rite of passage. Okay. Very, very nice. Uh, you're a better medic, actually. Well, that settles that, I guess. Um, sure. And, uh, Krzp. You shall from henceforth be known as Yukofin. Welcome to Thea. Long may you guard us from the ravages of wounds. Uh, we've got our new gathering tool. I'm going to give this to... Well, actually, is Kenneth the better gatherer, naturally, or Russell? Uh, Kenneth is the better gatherer, so... Kenneth, you take this one. There you go. Russell... You do 7 damage. You do 11 damage. Hmm. I'm only going to send out two gatherers. Russell, you don't need... Where, what one gives you medicking? This one. It makes more sense for me to have Yukofin with that. And could you then... No, you can't ward that as well. So, what I'm going to do instead... Go for the best armor. Um, sorry about that, but I need them to have the... B oh, you can't wield that now. Shame. But it's just going to have to be that way. Uh, yeah. You may as well go for that then. In terms of the gathering materials, though. I'm just bringing you up to 10. You've already got 10. It's not going to make any difference to you. Okay. Yeah, sure, we'll, we'll, we'll double down. It makes all sorts of sense. Now then, two turns on this Fantabulous Shield. I think we can wait two turns on the Fantabulous Shield. Yeah, we're going to pass two turns. Oh, I didn't give you a job, my bad. Uh, let's get you... Where are you? You're actually not bad at uh, gathering either. That's, that's actually fairly good. All right. One more turn, and womp, huge wallop of research points. Super, super duper good. Right, let's get someone equipped with this wonderful thing. It's heavy, but so much better. You can't wield it. Uh, Casey, you'd lose your leech life. I like you having leech life way too much. This is significantly better for you, though. Go ahead. How about you? No, you've already got something that's better. You can't equip it. Has anyone else got, like, 98 to spare? Don't think so. Nope. Nope. No spare. I mean, you do, but, you know, you're not getting it, so... That's fine. Alright. Well, I think with that, it's time for us to make a new expedition. Now, with this group, we could just go out there and grab bunches of elven wood. Or we could focus on something else. And instead, push to grab. We could go all the way back up to the tutorial. I'm thinking I might want to. Best medic is going with this group. Absolutely. Casey, going with this group. We're also bringing Oxherd. We're also bringing Obsidian Mist because of their amazing talking. Um, 
You go Finn, not bad at speech actually. Uh, we'll be bringing Russell. Actually, hmm. now Russell, you're going back. Kenneth, you're coming with. I think I'm going to have one extra combatant here. Now that being said, we got three combatants and three non-combatants. Yeah, we're going to have one extra. Who are we going to take? Uh, you got good shielding there. Amazing shielding there. And super high poison. Okay, Fitz, you're coming along as well. So we're sending out a party of seven and leaving seven behind. We will do a bit of gathering. Uh, we might even split the party a little bit. Uh, I prefer having larger parties. I believe on the, uh, on the settings that I've got, I can only take... 16 cards into a fight. The enemies are not restricted in the same way. I mean, they are a little bit, but uh, they tend to have much more powerful cards. Uh, on basic difficulty, there's no restriction. And you can, if you've got 40 people in a, in a stack, you can dump all 40 people into a battle. And at that point, it's just ridiculous. So having the, the limit to the amount of uh, cards that I can take with me into a fight does dramatically increase the difficulty. Uh, for the better, in my opinion. We'll just take 10 wood and we'll gather more on the way. Uh, take all of that. Take all of this. Yep. And we'll take a decent amount of this. Yeah, we'll take 80. There you go. It'll give us a 17 turns out and about. And I think that's more than enough for what we're going to be doing. What are we going to call this wondrous expedition? Um, Dungeoneers. That is where they're going. And on your way, you're going to quickly dispose of this Gallywood. But first, let me just make uh, sure that Dapper Dell is managing their supplies correctly, as they are marvellous. I approve. Uh, I could unlock that. No. No, we won't. Right. Okay. So, let's get out there, get rid of these snakes, and be on our way. Oh! Interesting. We don't have hunting, because, again, we don't have a hunter. Better play it safe and use some trickery. Brew a poison and plant it in some bait. It's only a one-star battle. Sure, we can we can try out a one-star battle. You prepare to brew a potent poison, one that will surely slay any beast. Um, skill used in this challenge is offense. Direct is defense, but uh, support ally. So, yeah, we've got will is our offensive guard and health is our defensive card. Sure, begin combat. We've actually got quite a solid group here. And uh, Yukofin has a poisonous effect, which is rather glorious to see. Uh, right. I can use a counter tactic here. Swipe out their card. Don't let it in. And then, at this point... Um, it really doesn't matter. Sure, will get closer so that it can't actually hit us. And then we'll just dump everyone else there. Obsidian Mist is going to take one for the team. Uh, that won't actually matter. And uh, then everyone else is just going to dogpile this cure sickness. There we go. And one down. And the next one down as well. We win! Uh, wow! A lot of scale leather out of that. And a leather shirt. Good. Take the loot and continue. Uh, how much weight allows? Uh, you've got a bit. It's not terrible. Uh, let's get up here. Sure. See what we can see. We're heading out again, just around the time of night, which, you know, isn't great. But is there actually anything here that I can gather? No. So there's no point. May as well continue on. But that's where we're wrapping up this episode. I really do hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. Uh, it is quite the shame about Izzy, but uh, we, we knew that the darkness was dangerous. <sighs> Still, thank you, Izzy, for your service. It will be remembered. The children that grow up in Dapperdell have you to thank. And on that note, do take care, everyone. <laughs>